Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Playdates and Travels and I do a lot of Disney content on my channel. Today I have a huge haul to get through so I'm going to try to keep this intro as quickly as possible or as quick as possible. But my name is Christina if you haven't already watched my channel before and I love to talk about Disney things in general. I am a travel agent and I just recently went on my very first trip as a travel agent to both Universal and to Disney World and it was my first time going back to Disney World since 2019 right before the pandemic hit. And it was also my very first trip with my family since 2018. So there was a lot of firsts and a lot of anticipation built up. It was also our first trip ever since um, the pandemic began as well. So we desperately needed a family vacation. I just went there for the 50th anniversary of Disney World, which is kicked off on October 1st. I was there the very first day and I have quite a haul for you. So if you guys like seeing Disney World hauls and what you can currently find at Disney, this is your video to watch currently to see what all the things that I got. I didn't buy everything because I don't have I'm just, I don't have endless amounts of money, but I did buy a lot of things and I'm excited to share with you. If you guys have watched my video before, you might think that my vid my voice sounds a little strange. I did catch a cold at the end of my, of my trip, so my voice is a little nasally, but hence all of Disney trips, I feel like. <laughs> it's such a very like hot, very hectic time that at the end of the trips, I always kind of catch a cold. But at any rate, I'm excited to share with you all the different things I got. I have paper goods, I have ears, I have pins, I have merch items, popcorn bucket, I don't know. So if you guys want to see this, then click on that subscribe button right now so you don't miss any of my future content as well, including vlogs. And without further ado, let's get into the content. Okay, so I do have these souvenir bags, and this is what you could get um, with your purchase. These are reusable bags, so they are a cost. I believe this one might have been two dollars or two fifty, and this one was maybe three dollars, something like that. They had an even bigger one, but I tried to grab merch items that I thought would uh, appeal to me. This one is the um, smaller bag I got. This one I only bought because I had no other way to carry all the items that are in here, other than to get a reusable bag and take it home. Because at that point, I had maxed out the space. In my bag I did bring on an extra uh, carry-on bag literally just to bring home souvenirs and I stuffed it to the brim it was half full of my ears for the trip and half full of souvenirs so I had fun <laughs> but I will start with the ears I guess because I am wearing one of the items already these are the 50th anniversary lounge fly ears that came out from Disney I absolutely love them this is the 50th print that is oh I'm sweaty but this is the 50th print that's already um being replicated on a lot of different merch items for the 50th anniversary. It took me a lot of find these because they were sold at the beginning of my trip, but then they were restocked on October 1st in Magic Kingdom, and of course, I waited in a long line to get them. I will say being near the opening isn't always cracked up to what it's be, but I wanted to get whatever freebies were given that day to say I was there, and it was fun for the first couple hours to be like in that mayhem and to experience the feels of everyone else who was also waiting to be there the very first day. After a couple hours, it got stale real quick, and I left the park and I actually did not watch the fireworks in Magic Kingdom because I couldn't take the crowds and we left the very crowded Magic Kingdom to go to Epcot via monorail and it was so much better there. I recommend that. I just don't like crowds but it was fun to be there for a little bit and I did get the take-home um, gift as well so I was able to like you know reap the benefits fully and also get the merch items that I wanted. So this is one of the ears which I'm wearing today so I'm super excited about that um, and their lounge fly. They have this nice gold uh, bow and then you have the nice like leatherette ears and on the side it does say lounge fly. I will put a, a close up on the screen so you guys can see what this looks like in its entirety. But the one annoying thing is that it did come with this like price tag of a tag on the side. I mean I could not even tuck this in my hair like I normally do. So this is crazy. I wish that lounge fly would stop doing these long tags. I mean there's no need for this. Um, so I did have to cut and snip it off before I could put these on. But, but that is the luggage tag that came on my lounge fly ears and so glad to have cut that off. The other 50th pair that I got from this particular trip that was also re-released the morning of October 1st, thank goodness, because I found out during the trip that these actually light up, and these are Disney Park ears. You can see it has the signature gold bow as well, but this one has like this really fun scrolly swirly effect with the little uh, gold decals and pink decals and blue, so they're really pretty and uh, bright. It does say Walt Disney World along the side there, on this gold. It's kind of hard to see because it's in white. Um, it does say Walt Disney World 50, excuse me. That's It's the close-up of that. And um, the inside is just lined with white, uh, kind of like a white... It's not felt, but it's very soft. 
Um, and then on the back, it does say recharge here with a USB cable. Ooh, you can recharge these. That's kind of cool. But these are light up ears. It does say Walt Disney World 50, light up headband. These were completely sold out until that first day. These were $35 pairs, by the way, so a little bit more expensive than usual. But what you can do is you can put a USB charger in the back to light them up. And when they are lit up, they look like this. So they're super pretty and vibrant. I thought that they'd be fun for the nighttime activities as well. And once I found out that these light up, lit up, I was like, I have to get this pair as well. So these are my two 50th anniversary ears. There was one more that had more of that like foamy headband and like a blue a uh, plain silk sequiny headband. I just wasn't as into those as I was into these two, so I waited till these became available and I'm very excited that I got them. The other pair of ears that I have, I actually did not purchase for myself. This is a gift for a friend, um, or a pickup for a friend, I should say. She did pay me for them. But she did ask if they had these to get them for her. And these are brand new to the park as well. These are $40 and these are scented. I had no idea these were scented until I got there. But this is also a Disney lounge fall. You guys can see it has a little emblem um, attached there on the side. These are red balloon ears and inside of these ears is popcorn. So it makes a nice fun jiggly effect on the bow is this fun Mickey balloon print all over. And this is also made out of leatherette material. And if you put your nose to it, it does smell like popcorn. Mm, it smells so good. So I had no idea that was the case, but I did get this for my friend. Hopefully she loves them. Um, it took a little extra space in my backpack to, to get this. So hopefully she absolutely loves this pair of ears that I picked up from her. And I got this in the um, alien shop, like in, in Tomorrowland in Magic Kingdom. And these were 40 once again. So super fun ears with popcorn. If you're a popcorn balloon fan in general, then I think you kind of need these ears. I kind of wanted to get a pair for myself, but I also know it's going to be spending a lot. So maybe my next upcoming trip... I will snag a pair for myself. And then I also have this pair of ears. This is actually a pair from Magic Mountain ears. These aren't from the parks, but I bought them specifically for the 50th anniversary from a small shop, one of my favorite small shops out there, and they're on Etsy. And she makes 3D ears. There is this big, big cake. This is a cake, a nice fun festive cake. And then this one has the Mickey balloons with this bright um, iridescent purple headband. You can choose whatever color headband you want, but if you guys have seen my channel before, you know that I really like purple, so I got this color, and this is what I was wearing in my ear, um, in my photos the day of the 50th. The photos now insert some of them here in front of the castle. That was kind of fun, and I got a lot of comments on this by the cast members as well, so these were super fun. I wanted to share in my haul because I did order these specifically just to wear on that trip, and they came a couple days in advance, so I really appreciate Tara for making these so quickly so I could have them in time for my trip. And then the other ears that I have, I actually made myself, which is kind of fun because I got a ton of compliments. The pair of ears that I was wearing that I got the most compliments um, of all was actually this pair I made, one of my very first pairs I ever made. And they have like the Mickey Mouse um, prints that I made myself. And then on the inside, it says Playdates and Travels, Walt Disney World. Um, but it also has this fun um, cast member print. I made that out of a printable fabric. So I wore these and people absolutely loved this pair. And then they, when they realized that I made this, they looked at it more carefully. They were like, that is really, really cute. So I had a fun, lot of fun wearing these. One of the very first pairs I ever made. And I also was able to kind of advertise myself while I was wearing that since I've named my channel. And also my travel agency um, name that I go by for my travel agency. Um, and then I made these YouTube ears really quickly at 3 o'clock in the morning the day before my trip. Because I knew that my friend who I was going to be hanging out with, Christy, also had her own pair of YouTube ears. And I wanted to have a matching photo to go along with that. I'll insert a photo here of us with our YouTube ears, but it was really fun to be able to make a quick makeshift pair of YouTube ears. And I will go ahead and recreate this. Um, my husband did get a little honey from my tea on my headband, so I'm a little annoyed by that. I was like, no, you damaged my ears. But this was also just a practice pair that I wanted to see how it came out, and I thought it came out pretty well. So I'll make myself another pair that I could have in the future. And my last pair of ears was this alien pair of ears. Um, I also made this myself, but I wore this in Toy Story Land when I went to Toy Story. Oh, my headband got a little squat in my headband bag. But um, I wore this when I went to Toy Story and again, got such compliments from the cast members there. They thought these were really cute. Then they realized, are these handmade? And I said, yes, and got compliments. So those were all the ears that I brought with me on the trip um, or uh, purchased or made myself that I wanted to share. I also bought other um, ears that uh, came from the parks as well. but. I've noticed that when you wear the official parks ears, you don't get as many compliments as when you're wearing small shop ears and ears that you make yourself. So 
that was a lot of fun. One item that I did not bring or did not purchase myself that I brought with me on the trip that was an absolute godsend was this Disney fan. You can buy this throughout the parks in both Disneyland and Disney World. You can say this. You can see it does say Disney Parks right here. And the reason that I love this is that you can fill this up with water, put the cap back on, and then um, when you turn the fan on right here, it blows a nice stream of air at you. Oh my gosh. And then this little here, if you have water inside, it will spritz the water out while the fan's going and it will cool you down instantly. This was a godsend because it was in the late 80s there, the high 80s, about 89 degrees every day of our trip. Super humid. And while I was waiting in line, I was definitely holding this and spraying my, myself or my kids, and we love this fan. So I got this from a, um, my art, my cast member friend actually got this gifted to him in their cast member gift for Christmas last year, and he got two, so he gave me a bag to keep. And I thought that this was such a nice addition to that cast member bag, appreciation gift. And I thank you to my friend again for giving this on to me because it came in such good, like, it was, it was used so well and I could not have appreciated a better gift. So thank you again. I love this idea, item. And you guys can purchase this for yourself too in the parks. I believe it retails for around $30. Then I have this. When I went to Disney Springs, I was waiting the line for Gideon's. Uh, there was a three hour wait. I didn't have that much time, but um, I did get to try their cookie because my friend had gone the day before and gave me some of her cookies to try. So I didn't feel left out. But I did go to the Ganache while I was there and bought this for myself it's a little mickey mouse pop and you can see it has his decorations right there we also had a Minnie mouse one but that was already consumed by my daughter she couldn't last that long um and then this is from the ganache this little like a uh, guide as to what the chocolates are because i did buy individual chocolates and that's what's in here if you ever have a chance to go to the ganache -ry, i definitely recommend this i had my friend give this to me a couple months ago and it got me through um, my upcoming trip and now I have my own box again and I cannot wait to eat more chocolates from the ganachery. I love these. I'm saving these again though so I haven't even touched them but they are absolutely delicious and fun. And maybe if I have time at the ending I'll show you uh, at the end of the video a close-up of the Mickey and Minnie uh, prints because they're really cute that they make there at the ganachery in Disney Springs. Going to Disney Springs during my trip was a little bit hectic because people were in such a rush and pushing and shoving. There was a lot of pushing and shoving the closer we got to the first. Um, the beginning of my trip was nice and relaxing uh, closer to the first, people were in a bad mood or tired or frantic. And I will say that if you don't like crowds, just keep that in mind that uh, it got a little mayhem toward the end. Like literally someone shoved us um, on the way to Disney Springs. And while we were in World of Disney, somebody pushed back and said, rude, when we're reaching over for a plastic bag. I mean, it's not that complicated people. I even heard from another YouTuber that there, a fight broke out in the Emporium on the first. People were fighting over those tumblers that were released. And I just... I, I could totally believe it because I saw firsthand people's arms reaching over as they were restocking and it was just like, let the cast members do their job and then grab your merch. Anyway, I can now show you the one item that was perhaps most useful. It is a popcorn bucket and no, I did not get any of the 50th anniversary popcorn buckets because on the first, we only stayed in Magic Kingdom for about three hours and the lines for the popcorn stands were about an hour each. I wanted to prioritize going on Rise versus waiting in those lines since I knew that I would be going to Disney World again in a month. Um, I am going on a YouTuber trip with a bunch of friends in November, so I figured the popcorn buckets will be restocked then. I can get them then if need be. But what I did get is this popcorn bucket, which they have now updated the design. This is the pre-50th anniversary design. Now they have a 50th anniversary blue, you know, motif, but this was what they were selling before that would release. And it just has a bunch of fun icons. Like there's Minnie Mouse holding a candelabra in front of the Haunted Mansion. There's Daisy with the ice cream bar, Mickey bar in front of the castle. There is Donald um, on the Jungle Cruise, etc. Like there's just a lot of fun icons like that. Goofy on Dumbo. Um, and so it's a fun little like festive popcorn bucket with different icons and characters and whatnot. And the reason that this was so important is that this was about $12 or $12.99, something like that. And once you bought the popcorn in this bucket, you could then get $2 refills for the rest of your stay. So that's why it was useful to get this because one thing of popcorn was about $6.95 or to get this was $12 or $12.25, something like that. And after that, you paid $2 for popcorn versus six. And my kids wanted popcorn at least five times. So the, we got our money's worth out of this. But at any rate, just a simple popcorn bucket. We never actually put any popcorn in here put it in a separate um, box and container that they gave us. So that worked out well. And now I have this popcorn bucket for future trips as well. One of the things I liked is actually this guide map of Magic Kingdom. We went twice to Magic Kingdom. Um, we went 
two days before the first and then we went again on the first and before the first this was what the park map looked like and then they changed it but what I like about this is it shows a kid having so much fun in front of the sword in the stone sword in Magic Kingdom and I thought that was really nice to highlight one of the guests um on this particular map you can see it got a little bit wrinkled it was in a bag but I have a couple of these and I also have a couple of the 50th anniversary goods I'll show you the paper goods a little bit later in this haul but I did want to feature some of the 50th anniversary merch um Starbucks so one of the things that came out for the 50th is they had the new Starbucks mugs I'm a huge fan of the been there you are here series these are the new tumblers that just came out I had the chance to get Animal Kingdom um and I didn't I hesitated for this trip and Epcot didn't have theirs out yet or actually no Epcot had restocked them and they did have them out but I was surprised to see that Epcot's were blue it was figment but it was blue and I was expecting to be purple so I didn't like that figment wasn't purple and I didn't buy it for that reason um but Epcot had already sold out of their 50th anniversary pins which I was really sad about hopefully they restock that later these do not say Disney limited release or limited edition it just says been their series so I had to have a couple of pins I was going to share if they be at the end of the haul so because I have quite the number of pins from my most recent 50th anniversary trip I'm going to do something different than I normally do I'm going to have a separate pin haul from my merch haul so there will be two different videos showing most recent merch that I got from my trip pins will be its own video and then merch will be a separate video so I also have this tumbler and this is the magic kingdom one and I like that it has mickey in this like pink font you have the hitchhiking ghost you have uh crunchy bear you have even tron the vehicle which hasn't opened yet but they are constructing that currently uh you have the castle you have dumbo you have some clouds you have fireworks and a lot of fun motifs even big thunder mountain so that is a close-up of what that looks like right there super fun and it's kind of like a washed out design as well it's not so prominent but i like that a little bit and because the color scheme matched my aesthetic i got this one versus the other parks. I never actually saw the one in Hollywood Studios. I did only see these three. So at any rate, I got Magic Kingdom, chose not to get Animal Kingdom because it was green and I liked it. I thought it was cute, but I thought I'd get it my next trip. And then Epcot, I chose not to get it because it was blue. Meh. The Starbucks logo on the other side. Love these tumblers. They're so much fun and festive. My husband's like, what are you getting? And I was like, I have to get a tumbler. I collect these. He was like, oh, okay. New for my collection, and this was the bag they gave me at Starbucks to take that home. So this is like Disney Parks and Resorts. It's nice that they always give you bags. Since I'm showing you Starbucks cups, I also got this one. They put it in this little, like, Starbucks coffee cup um, to keep it nice and pristine, which I thought was really nice. But this is a smaller version of the Animal Kingdom. So I told you I did not get the big tumbler, but I did carry home the ornament version because they do have a miniature size in each. The uh, tumblers are about 25, and these are 15. So I grabbed the Animal Kingdom ornament. You can see it's kind of like a St. Patrick's Day design, like a limerick or something. It's green. It's got Mickey wearing a leprechaun hat. You've got the Tree of Life, giraffes. Um, you even have my favorite Rafiki with his staff, uh, some hippos, butterflies, some fun flowers, uh, Expedition Everest mountains behind you, a dinosaur, and even birds. Um, or maybe that's actually uh, a banshee in the background representing Pandora. So a lot of fun little icons on this small miniature cup. There's the Starbucks logo. You can see it's green and it comes with this little hanger in gold that you can put on a Christmas tree to have this um, decorated as an ornament. So I really like these and I just thought these cups were really cute. So I did get the Animal Kingdom ornament to go along with my You Are Here collection. From Epcot, they were having a scavenger hunt, Remy, Ratatouille, scavenger hunt. Um, and I actually didn't get a chance to do it much because it got dark really fast. So I bought the map to take with me on my upcoming trip in November and hopefully do it then. But I did get the prize when I purchased the map because I know that sometimes their prizes do sell out at the beginning of the food and wine. And when they restock their prizes, they get different prizes. I wanted this particular prize, so I got it now. And it's a bowl, a commemorative bowl with Belle all over it. And I don't think that she looks so pretty there in the blue dress, blue and white. And you can see she's right there with Lumiere and they're just about to have a feast for be our guest she's sprinkling a little pepper and salt um there is a nice little uh stand behind her as well and then a bunch of fruits on the table i see onions uh, maybe those are cheese and olives so some fun stuff and it looks like she's actually making a fondue isn't that a fondue plate so that is actually really nice and i like the bold colors on this bowl it's very simple and plasticky but a lot of fun and a nice blue interior and this is one of the free gifts that you could get 
with the um the scavenger hunt so i picked out this one i think they had three other two other choices but this was my favorite so glad to have this one in my possession i have definitely been that person who has gone on ebay in the past and just bid on one of the souvenir prizes because i wanted them so instead of doing that i bought it myself for free for the six dollar or whatever the the cost was for that scavenger hunt so i was like yay and just to show you what that map looks like it's remy's ratatouille hide and squeak 2021 you can go all over the 11 different um showcases realm world showcases to see the different clues and there's all the stickers on the back and the price of this was 9.99 so ten dollars for the play along and to also get one of your signature souvenirs so that was fun while we were on the trip my daughter absolutely fell in love with the pandora ride she had so much fun it was her first time that she was tall enough to go on it and was brave enough to go on it i should also say and so she went on it twice because my son is not tall enough so we had to do rider swap and when you do that you um you tell them before you go on they have a little uh, ipad where they put in the device they scan your ticket of the person who is going to be coming back on the ride and then they can scan one more ticket so the child can go twice you know essentially a second time so my daughter chose to go the second time so that she could enjoy it for a second time and then afterwards she bought this one of the banshees from pandora and it is the kind that you put the little um plate uh i'll try it right now but you sit it underneath your shirt and then align the banshee on top so that it sits on your shoulder i'm probably not doing this right but it will sit perched and you can move around and it just stays there that's kind of cool yeah he's staying right now actually yay he's perched he's perched he's perched he's perched he's perched hey 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 okay that's enough of that but at any rate um so this is the banshee that she picked out super cute with the little uh ears right there and my daughter just really lo loved this and this was her toy that she played with she was even feeding him when we were in animal kingdom she was like oh would you like some crackers and started feeding him so that is her prize that she took home from the trip and it does stay magnetic there on the bottom as well some of the free gifts that they got um she did take home these kid cut little things that you can get around the, the world showcase and they have little things you can color because of covid they're not currently giving out crayons for them to color but they can take these home and then add them to a passport that you have to buy purchase you have to purchase separately which i do have one of them already and then it has stickers that you can add to them so little fun activities for the kids i wish it was a little bit more interactive right now currently because the kids didn't get a chance to enjoy all the fun uh eating around the world activities the only thing you really can do for them is that remy's ratatouille scavenger hunt which again we had run out of time to do during the daylight i forgot to show you one more merch item and it is this cup that you got from ireland when i went in the past to the food and wine festival they actually ran out of this commemorative cup but if you got that bailey's ice cream um milkshake basically it was like an alcoholic shake it came in this beautiful Epcot International Food and Wine Festival cup that says Ireland and copyright Disney. And I thought the cup, the cup was pretty cute that I wanted to take it home with me. So I did rinse it out as soon as we were done with it and put it in my purse to take home. Yay. This is a um, birthstone necklace that I got from the Chinese pavilion. It says a crystal birthstone jewelry. It's got the garnet, um, garnet, uh, which is a birthstone for January. My birthday is in January. And then you can see it has a yin and yang uh, below that. So... Um, it's kind of a reddish, dark reddish color is my um, birthstone, but I do want to re replicate that in the future, which is why I got this. And the price was $11.95 from the China Pavilion. So really nice. It does say, if garnet's your birthstone, you're motivated, confident, spiritual, and have an abundance of positive energy. I would say that's true. The one piece of jewelry that I really wanted was this, and it's the Walt Disney World 50. Alex and Ani, they had a couple. I actually found this um, not in the Disney parks, but in the yacht club uh you know gift shop so sometimes the resorts will have merch that you don't see inside the parks and i actually really liked this and so i bought it it was 65 dollars, and i did wait to i became an annual pass holder to buy this so i am an annual pass holder now i bought this up toward the end of my trip but this is an alex nani bracelet and i showed a picture um in my instagram feed you guys can see it i'm a play and travels on there as well but it's got this beautiful castle on the inside i thought that was really pretty this nice little bubble with the castle and it's commemorating the 50th. I thought that was beautiful and wanted to get this to commemorate my trip. So I did go ahead and splurge for this one particular bracelet and I'm happy I did so. And this is the box that it came in. Another item that I got was actually a surprise to me. My husband's not a big shopper, but when we were in Epcot buying, um, buying some merch items, he saw this and he was like, this commemorates food and wine, you'll want this. And I said, huh, you're right, I do. So it is another tumbler. But this one is a pass holder tumbler, and I just mentioned I was a pass holder, so I was able to get this. 
And it does say Epcot Food and Wine Festival and has my favorite figment right there. Look, it matches my eyebrows right now on my eyeshadow. But it has figment and he's in a chef's hat and you can see all the different foods all around him. The wine bottle um, or that olive oil could be either or. But super fun. And it's purple and it's a huge turvis tumbler. So my husband wanted me to get this. It was $27. Oh my gosh, I had no idea. But once again, when my husband shoves a merch item at me, I'm like... Thank you. So I did grab this one as well. One of the coolest items you can get at Magic Kingdom currently is um, right at Storybook Treats, the treats ice cream place that you could go to. Right next to that is another food um, area that had bratwurst and other snacks. Honestly, the food wasn't that great because I did try it. But with purchase, you could get this fun souvenir item. So I purchased bratwurst just to get this Mickey popcorn bucket. It's like a Mouseketeer hat and it's made of plastic. You could put anything inside. It's like a little dog bowl, jewelry bowl, whatever you want, decoration. I just wanted this item, so I did go ahead and grab this from that store as well. And it's got the Mickey Mouse icon. It says Mickey Mouse Club right there. Sorry, the reflective surface is right reflecting on this, but I love this item and was happy to get this thing added to my collection as well. And okay, enough teasing. I showed 150th anniversary um, merch item with the, that uh, Alex Nani bracelet. I showed you some of the ears that I got, including the ones I'm wearing on my head, and the big item that people were fighting over that they really wanted was this thing. It is a new tumbler for 50th anniversary. It has a Starbucks icon right there. It's got this beautiful, like, bejeweled, um, gemmed surface, and then when you turn it around, you can see it does have this icon right here that says 50. And so it has the castle. It says Walt Disney World, the world's most magical celebration. I mean, I don't know why everyone is obsessed with this. It's a very cool design for sure. But I actually got these because my friends asked me to pick them up for them. So I got these for my friend. I like stood in the lines to get these. Um, and these were stocked on the first day. I'm sure they're going to sell out real quick. It even has the bejeweled um, straw on the inside. So that's really cool. And I mean, they're beautiful. They definitely are. But I don't know if they're worth the hype. Oh my gosh, these were $40 each. So no wonder I spent so much when I went to the store because <laughs> I got a couple of them. But these were $40 each, guys. Um, but yeah, I got these for my friends. So hopefully they appreciate this. The, the, the mayhem people were going through to get these tumblers and they were limited to two per person. So I definitely had my daughter come in the store so that I could get a third. So this is the big ticket item I walked out with. <laughs> crazy. The other big thing from the trip was the new Space 220 restaurant just opened. We did stand in line for an hour and a half before we were let in in Epcot. It's right by Mission Space and we were able to dine there. It was such a fun experience. I actually really enjoyed the food there and just sitting next to the sites. And one of the things we got was this fun cup. I can't even close it right now. Um, this is a cup that you could get when you purchase a kid's drink. And so it says Space 220 Restaurant, the highest, the height of dining. That's pretty cool. It's got astronauts and even the um, the actual ship uh, that is like the, their mascot. There's an astronaut right there. So this is a fun little cup that came along with like, it says the shape of a rocket in the bottom too. It's like a spaceship. But this came along with a drink and they had the non-alcoholic, um, they were like mocktails. They call them mocktails. So... Uh, they had two mocktails and the kids can get the cup. You cannot get this unless you were a kid, but my daughter was with me. So I did get this. So this is a fun uh, extra item that we got. And then they also had trading cards, which when I find that, I will show you that as well. That came along with the purchase of a kid's meal, but super fun cup that we could only get with the purchase of one of those mocktails for a child. So got it. At the 50th, I had to add this little plushie to my collection. I just think he's beautiful. And it's Mickey Mouse, and he's wearing his signature out outfit from the celebration. I absolutely love the color scheme for this. I think it's gorgeous with the blues and purples. And it even has, like, this nice little flower motif on the side and the gold. I mean, it's absolutely stunning. It's just a very fun little replica of Mickey. They had Minnie Mouse in her signature skirt dress as well. Absolutely beautiful with the ruffles. But I opted for Mickey because out of the two, I'm just such a big Mickey fan versus Minnie. So I wanted Mickey to come home with me. So this is what he looks like. And I just think he's a lot of fun. And he has his blue pants, his little gold shoes as usual. The embroidered jacket continues on the back. It's just a really, really pretty design. And this is the icon um, on the 50th. This was a $30 plush. So 
the same price as normal when you buy Disney Parks plushes, but glad to have this one added to my collection as well. I've only, I almost canceled out this entire bag. The last item in here is actually a lollipop set. My kids wanted this, so I did grab this. Last time I went to Disneyland actually here, these were sold out, so it was nice to get these anyway. But this is a different version of lollipops. There's lemon, lime, mango, peach, sour apple, watermelon, and blue raspberry. I had no idea they had such interesting flavors. But I got this because my kids wanted to have some lollipops. In addition to this, they also got the individual lollipops that they were both eating. I will insert a photo of that now so you guys can see. But we made out with all the candy on the first for sure. And I was like, you want it? Sure, we'll get it. And the last item in here is actually not from Disneyland, or not from Disney World, but actually from Universal. Uh, when you get the dining package, which is currently on hold, but when you were able to order that, if you ordered it in advance before they um, cut it off in the summer, uh, between now and the end of the year, you can still get the dining package if you already have it in your package pre-booked. And my friend did and passed it on to myself and to Christy who was going there. And in addition to her package, she had one freestyle cup each, which means if you go to one of the Coca-Cola freestyle um, areas, which is right by the... Um, the Men in Black attraction, they have a whole freestyle area, the Coca-Cola store in Universal. You could get a cup at any of the merch locations and free refills throughout the day. So this is the cup that they had right now, which is a replica from the Halloween Horror Nights event that's going on right now for Halloween. So we did have a little Halloween thing to take home with us, and that is the only non-Disney item that I have in my haul because I didn't really go shopping that much. They're not, not, not sure. I do have a couple of pins. So one of the few non-Disney items in my haul today, but that is the Universal Cup representing Halloween Horror Nights, and we're going to take this home and have it for future. They did say to always bring this back because if you take this back into the park, you then have access to the freestyle station, so that's good to know. Speaking of Universal, when I went to Universal, I did bring this as my little purse. This is a, um, where did I get this from? Jujubee. This is a Jujubee little small crossbody bag and it was just the right size to bring my phone, a wallet, all the essentials that I needed just for a day in the parks and also fit into those tiny little lockers they have there. So I definitely recommend this little Jujubee bag. I like that it has the platform nine three quarters on here and it has London to Hogwarts and the Harry Potter logo, Harry Potter's glasses, lots of fun little motifs like that. So it's very Harry Potter-esque and a nice little bag to take with you. This was the Epcot map before the 50th, so nothing too special. A girl wearing ears looking at the icon of the Epcot ball, Face of Earth, but super fun. I do have those in here. In this bag, I did get a celebrating button that says, I'm celebrating family. Love it. While I was at Disney, I also was able to go to the cast member store. I didn't buy too much, but I might make that a separate haul. So those items are in here. The cast member store is called, um, Cast Connections, and my friend Josh from Josh Goes to Disney actually invited me uh, to go toward the beginning of my trip, which I was really, really excited for. So thank you, Josh, again for the opportunity if you see this video. And so this bag here is my haul from that store. Because I went to that store, and because Josh told us that they pretty much had the same merch at um, at the Character Warehouse, which is the outlet out there, I didn't bother going to Character Warehouse this particular trip, but I will share this a different time. I essentially think of it as like an outlet haul, basically. It's like the cast member outlet haul, so I will show you later, but super grateful for this, and thank you again, Josh, for that access. I'm running out of merch items, which means I think I have a majority of pins left, but I'll show you my paper goods before I get into that. I do have this 3D Mickey Mouse keychain. This was an add-on that was added to my package when I bought those Magic Mountain ears I showed you, so I was really grateful that she gave me this little add-on keychain. And lastly, also got this Disney gift card with the 50th logo all motifs all over it. So that was really pretty, so I you put any value from $15 and up, and so I definitely did that and used it at the parks. Because I'm extra, I did take home a couple of the Space 220 um, commemorative opening day menus. So this is the menu itself. Um, it's a paper good that they had out in the front. It did get a little wrinkled in my backpack, um, in my luggage, I mean, but it's okay. I will straighten this out later, but I like to collect things like this and add it to my memorabilia. So I do have one of these as well as the drink menu. And this is a children's menu. This is a children's menu. So it shows that you could have gotten Space Getty, for example, uh, spaghetti with meatballs. A grilled New York strip steak and space fries or macaroni. And then as your sweets choice, you could have a choice of cupcake, um, gelato scoop or sherbet. And then you also got a celestial beverage. Um, it said add a special collectible cup for only $3 to your meal. Um, or you could have gotten the mocktails 
was also came with a collectible cup. So those are all the different things that you could have done with this space uh, items. And then it also has the collecting tradable cards that you can also get if you order a mocktail from the lounge menu as well. So this was the fun kids menu. This was the regular menu and I took them home with me. We have this fun 50th anniversary popcorn bucket. Um, we did get popcorn in one of these and my son wanted this bucket. So we did grab it. I love that it has the castle icon and other parks. So love collecting these things. We went to Epcot. The new guide maps for the 50th do show the illuminations on the ball, which is really awesome. The projection that we're showing off at nighttime and it does say Walt Disney World 50. So I love the new Epcot maps. I'm assuming they're going to have these for a while. Really, really beautiful design and I have quite a number of them. This was the Magic Kingdom Walt Disney World 50th guide map and it has the Magic Kingdom castle with the beautiful iridescent design all over as well. So super pretty all in all. And I did get these to collect them and also to pass them off to future clients who might be planning a trip to the 50th celebration for the next 18 months. And then when you went um, on opening day, they were passing out these commemorative maps for opening day. So I had to grab this one, the Magic Kingdom one. It has the castle says, the world's most magical celebration, Walt Disney World 50, Magic Kingdom, October 1st, 2001. So I had to grab this commemorative guide map. It has a lot of icons inside. It says new Mickey celebration cavalcade. Um, it says what happened in 1971, the day that this opened in, um, in the past. It tells you about the new limited time food and beverage, including the popcorn buckets that you could get. And as you exit the park today, be sure to pick up a complimentary one day only poster celebrating 50 years of Magic Kingdom, which I did get that as well. So that is really cool that you have a little like guide to all the different things that are going on in the parks. And so I grabbed a couple extra of these just to have, um, just I love things like this. And paper memorabilia is one of my favorite things to do. So I do have a couple of these thanks to my husband who did grab three for our family. Sticker packs, we also have this Epcot food and wine guide. And what they're doing for the food and wine festivals, there's a special challenge that if you complete it, um, you will get a fully uh, a festival completer prize. We did not uh, purchase five <laughs> items to redeem for this, um, all five, which you would get a Shimmering Sips completer prize. Okay. Near Port of Entry, you would get a prize. Uh, we only did two out of the five because we ran out of time. So I have three to complete um, upon my new... A trip in November but I plan on doing that and then hopefully getting the completer prize to share with you guys in a future haul but this is the guidebook to all the foods and eats and you can put stickers on the ones that you have gone to so always fun to get these as well for staying in a Disney hotel I got the package and upon the packages you were given these little luggage tags so that is a copy of my luggage tag with Mickey on it and I have three because we had three tickets we also got this thank you for choosing magic uh, Walt Disney World travel company and this is all our extras we didn't use a single one of them during this trip, but you do get that when you do a travel package as well. It basically gives you um, mini golf, like a free mini golf uh, at different locations. You can go to uh, ESPN Wide World of Sports. You can also um, get a discount on Joffrey's Coffee, which is about 20%, which are 10% or 20%, I can't remember. But those are all the different additions that you got with the Magical Extra. So... That's super nice that they offer those. And if you stay on Disney property, that's one of the benefits of that. Then when Animal Kingdom, we actually tried our hand at drawing Scar. They had an animation academy, uh, or they called the animation experience, excuse me. And you could learn how to draw different characters. So they were doing Scar that day. This is my husband's. Looks pretty, pretty good. I really like the way his came out. And then mine is mine as well. So... I had fun drawing Scar and my husband also had fun drawing Scar. And then my daughter also tried her hand at Scar. This is the paper they gave you, by the way, to draw. But my daughter's right here. So you can see that she also did a pretty good job of drawing Scar, even though she's small and only seven years old. You could tell by looking at that, that is Scar. So I was really proud of her. I was like, the fact that we all were able to follow the guidelines to learn how to draw this character was pretty fun. And then for the creme de la creme surprise, they gave everyone upon exiting this commemorative poster, as that guide said, and this is what it looks like. It's this beautiful little print of the castle with the Walt Disney World 50th uh, logo right there. We did not have a flat surface, so I did get a little bit bent in our stroller, but I think it's pretty pristine, all things considered. And I will probably end up framing this in putting it on my wall over there. So something fun to commemorate the fact that we were there on October 1st. And this was the takeaway prize that they gave everyone. Okay, guys, so that is my haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the items that I picked up on my most recent trip. That was a long haul. 
lots of different merch items, lots of different 50th anniversary merch, and there's more to come. I didn't get a single shirt, otherwise I would have been wearing it for this video, but I'm hoping on my upcoming trip in November that I'm able to get at least, there was like this one shirt that had like a raglan um, stripe on the end. It was gray and had a fun like 50th print in the back. They also had one white one with the characters on the front. They were just really pretty. Um, and also a purple spirit jersey. I did not buy any of those because at that point I was trying to just stay in the parks and do less merch and I already had done enough damage waiting in lines but hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing all the stuff that you can get currently at Disney let me know what your favorite item was in the comments below thanks for sticking around if you stayed this long give me a big thumbs up and uh I made it a comment or something like that but thank you so much for watching I look forward to talking to you guys soon in the next video if you haven't already please consider subscribing joining our community and I hope that you are all taking care and dreaming about your next Disney vacation it's always fun to just think dream about it even if it can't come true for months or years to come, just have that in your mind. It just keeps the positivity going, knowing all the different things you can get at Disney, in my opinion. So I love talking about future Disney trips and thinking about them and imagining them. And if you do want to have a Disney trip imagined and you want some help um, and guidance to do that, I am a travel agent, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, which means that I can help you plan your Disney vacation for absolutely free. Um, it's no extra cost to you. I can just do the, all the the work and the research for you and since it is like my home park and I love going to both Disneyland and Disney World I'm a pass holder at both now I think I can help you so hope that is helpful to you hope you all take care and have a great week bye bye Big. Big.